Hi, welcome back for yet another adventure here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I am your host, Jerry Hansen. Today I'm going to take you on an adventure of putting together the fencing. Today I'm cross-fencing the property. Earlier, uh, when we first bought the property, one of the first things I did after cleaning it up was putting the perimeter fence up. We only had the one fence that was up. This fence stretches uh, approximately 1,042 feet long, and this fence was already here. It was put up by the uh, gentleman who owned the property next door. But the back of the pro fence line was in real bad shape. Uh, and it was 12 feet off the property line, so actually it was not on the property line. I went ahead and erected this fence, finding the corner marks with my metal detector and accurately placing the fence along the property line. This side fence I put up also, this stretches approximately 888 feet. Uh, from the back corner uh, property uh, marker up to the road and this continues on down through the north face of my property and the front property line, this front fence borders along the road. Now this cross fencing you see right here, uh, I put it up yesterday and I'll be working on it again today. Uh, we ran into a problem with putting the fencing up uh, I have this rock. It's a bedpan rock that is really shallow. Um, of course, when I put the foundation of the house in, I ran into the rock a foot down into the earth, so <laughs> at least I know the foundation of my house sets on a good, solid foundation. It's not going anywhere. But this fencing made it really difficult to put fence posts in, so I'm going to have to be a little creative in this one section along the pond here where this bedpan is, uh, this rock is exposed close to the surface where I couldn't get a deep enough hole to secure a fence post. So I'm going to go ahead and build this uh, garden bed, a raised bed garden. And this raised bed is also going to facilitate the uh, attachment of uh, posts, about five posts. So I got to jerry-rig this and uh, make do with what I have here on the farm. Those clips will be on the back side of the pole so you will not be able to see them from the yard so nobody will care. I use this fence tool that you use for fence, uh, field fencing. It makes it real easy for cutting the thick gauge wire of the field fence. It also has adjusting the staples, the fence staples, uh, like you see here. And it also uh, is great, uh, has uh, things on it for pulling uh, fence staples. So this basically, I cut the fencing in manageable lengths. Each roll comes into a in a 330 foot long roll. These are very heavy. Uh, I have too heavy for one person. So what I did was I cut it in lengths. My fence posts around the perimeter of my property, uh, the wooden posts are 100 feet uh, apart. So I cut the length of the fence about 101 feet, 102 feet so I could stretch the fence between them. And the T-posts have these little staples or these little uh, T-post uh, holders, uh, fence holders that I bought. And these T-posts are every 10 feet between each 100-foot uh, fence post. So I was able to staple the fencing to each uh, fence post. And it became more manageable, so I was able to only handle 100-foot long rolls. This uh, fencing right here 
uh, as you can see, I pieced it together and cut it into more manageable lengths also. Uh, it made it really easy to uh, handle. And so that is the fencing project here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm almost done. I still have the garden fence to put up. It's uh, quite a bit taller. I think it's a seven foot high fence. I just hope the deer around here aren't Olympic jumpers well, they, where they will jump at a, a seven foot high fence. If they do, I'll just extend the top with some electric wire to make it look like the fence is taller to the deer and hopefully that will dissuade them from jumping into the garden. So thank you for following me at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host Jerry Hansen. Uh, this fence adventure, the, the adventure of putting in the fence uh, here at Pine Meadows. Uh, it's just a simple little how to, how I put in my fence. It's not probably the way to put in a fence, but this is how I put in my fence. So thank you for coming, and please check out these videos right here uh, to link in. for more videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to, uh, that way you're going to stay, that way you're sure to be in contact and updated with new videos as I post them. Oh, by the way, I am now on Twitter. I just found out what Twitter is. I live, I am so in the dark ages. I don't even have a cell phone. So I went online and looked at Twitter and found out what that was. I heard people talking about it. I thought it was something birds do, but... Anyway, I discovered my YouTube videos can go on Twitter and what's that other thing? Facebook. Yeah, I got a Facebook account now too. So look for us there.